Oh, <laughs> hello, people. My name is Kale Boss. Hmm? The only boss. <laughs> oh, wait, what this? Ah, have you heard? Wait, do you know that Tap Tap Send is live in Texas? Oh, you didn't know. We went to New York. Now we are live in Texas. So, people in Texas and around, all you have to do is to download Tap Tap Send. Yes, Tap Tap Send has become the most unique, secure, and fast way of sending money across the world to your loved ones anywhere. Okay? So, download Tap Tap Send on Google Play Store or App Store. And when you're in Texas or around, you just have to put in the code TXGH. What did I say? T X G H and you get ten dollars for your first transaction you make. Hey, but yeah, Mahama media, text us. You drew her very soon. We will conquer everywhere. Download Top Top Send now on Google Play and App Store. Top Top Send. It's secure, convenient, easy, and fast. <laughs> Now, let me seize this opportunity to say thank you to everybody who has given me that warm welcome into the SM world. Ever since I made that official announcement that um, I'm taking the position as the manager of Shatawale officially on this particular app, I know it has gone viral. The media has supported it by writing stories about it. And I want to say I appreciate everybody to all the top, top media platforms, blogs, websites, bloggers who have posted it. I really appreciate. You guys have made me feel like, okay, you are one of us. And I'm so grateful. And just as you've done for me in your reportage, in your um, commentaries, just as you've done for me, I pray that when I come to you with a real work, <laughs> and what I mean by the real work is when I come to you with works from the artists whose mandate now I'm about to work on, I pray that you do the same thing because that's been beautiful. Now, when you Google right now, so many stories out there, Shatawale has a new manager, blah, 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 boom, 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 boom. Like, it is looking beautiful. But I have something to say about some of the commentaries that I've been seeing. And I'm always seeing it a funny way when I have to speak about myself in the editorial because I wish to be talking about people and not about myself. Else to be like Samuel Flex is full of himself. I wish to be talking about but sometimes when it becomes necessary and it's about me, I still want to address it. And yes, the announcement was welcomed warmly, especially to my SM soldiers. To you guys, I salute. You guys are beautiful. In fact, the, the, the kind of excitement and the enthusiasm I saw from all these people making me feel like, oh, I'm the guy, I'm the guy, I'm the guy. I said, oh, wow. So people really loved me like this? I didn't know. Some commentaries and what some things people are saying about me, I said, oh, wow. So some people have been watching me from afar like that and they've made these observations. I see them and I go like, yeah. In this world, whatever you do, do it diligently. And that's what I keep saying. Whatever you do, do it diligently. And that is what will take you there. Beyond that, I've also seen some negative commentaries, a.k.a. bad comments, in the midst of the war comes. And as much as I am applauding those who are giving me all the positive uh, feedback, I also want to use this opportunity to say that those who are speaking negatively, we've seen them. And I want you guys to be rest assured that everything will be fine. And there is one particular piece that I would want to read in doing this. 
But before that, remember that I'm doing this with Digital Rasta. He's called Currency, who is on camera. Richie Flex is the editor director of the show. And Tap Tap Send is also holding us down here. I want you to know this is the team. Tap Tap Send is telling you you can send money from abroad to Ghana with no stress. All that I have to do is down download the app. Put in your um, bank details. Use the promo code SAMIFLEX. And with this, you are sure good to go. Now, Kwame Dazi is an astute entertainment journalist. Remember, Kwame Dazi started with me at Flex newspaper, where I was the managing editor. Some 10 years ago, we had a newspaper, one powerful private entertainment newspaper, owned by Sami Flex seated here. And Kwame Dazi then, who was a teacher in Koforidua, started writing a column in my newspaper. Um, he actually rose to the top, became the deputy editor, and when finally I had to move on to do xylophone duties, he even assumed the main role, making sure the newspaper is edited beautifully, and he was also adding some beautiful write-ups as well. Um, he moved on to City um, FM, City TV, where he was a producer, presenter, and a writer for their website, ghanaweekend.com. And then now he is stable. He's um, okay. Should I say now he is at Joy Entertainment or Joy FM or better still, Multimedia Group? That is where he is now. Knowing that these are some comments that people are saying, he posted something on 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 um, Facebook, and I would want to read it beautifully so I can say something briefly about it. So we run away from here. I read. He actually started with a quotation from some of these people who are making commentaries online. And I read, it says, Shatawale's deal with Sami Flex will not last. Shatawale's deal with Sami Flex will not last. And let me read exactly what he said. He said, prior to the announcement that Sami Flex had been appointed Shatawale's manager, I was one of the people that got so uncomfortable anytime he was dragged for doing a Sergio Ramos for the dance hall artist. At a point, I nearly called to tell my boss, Sammy Flex, to be careful about his dealings with Shata. I was contemplating, suggesting to him to announce he had joined the Wally team than to defend his phobos under the guise of promotional journalism. Then boom, he made the announcement a few days ago. I've seen people say this deal will not last. Some also say Shata will beat him up. But wait, which deal or relationship lasts forever? I know he would have challenges. I pray he's able to cause some positive change in Shata's career, even if the deal lasts for six months. Instead of praying this managerial contract crashes prematurely, let's wish them well. Who knows? Samuel Atubiba may be the one to take Shatawale to the promised land. <laughs> and interestingly, when you go under the comments, it is one of the most engaged uh, posts or the most interactive posts that he's made. It has 110 comments, 10 shares, and 576 reactions. Okay, likes and loves and all that, you will take it. Like 576 of that, 110 comments and 10 shares. Very, very engaging posts. Obviously, if it is about Shatawale, it will have engaging posts. And if it is about Sami Flex too, knowing the recent announcement that has been made, you will not expect anything less than this. And I want to appreciate those who are also thinking about the other side. I want to appreciate it. But sometimes, let's be a little positive. Sometimes, let's see things from the other side apart from only the negatives. If I see those who are at the other side, and I know very well that oh, this guy will not say anything positive, knowing where he comes from, knowing his DP, knowing his name, and all those things. When I see those ones, in fact, I'm not moved because I know yeah, you are not expecting or you are not supposed to expect anything good from this guy. It will be what he's saying. But if I see it coming from people that I see to be objective, people that I see to be reasonable, people that I see to be level-headed, then sometimes it gets a little disturbing. Because one, like Kwame Dazi said, we have seen people or pastors, let me use men of God, 
who have married in the church, even divorced. We have seen people who have done this and that, and the next day or two, because of their plans, it did not go the way they wanted, and they have to depart. We have seen all those things before. So why should you think that if today, Sami Flex and a certain Shatawale are no more together, then there is a big issue? Why should, you th why, why should you even think it? It will not be any big issue. Only know that whatever that they have understood to do is something that they both want. That is why we have agreed to work. So if one day we are no more, it means once again, we would agree because whatever that will let us agree we can't work anymore, that will also come up. And... I don't know why people are making it. And eh, he will come and say this. And eh, you come and do this. Eh, when I see this, I laugh. Like, ah. So is that all you guys can see? Are you not happy that, oh, someone at least is official to Shatawale's team? Are we not happy? As big as he is, are we not happy that, oh, at least there is an official route if you want to go to him? So imagine that he is there and you want to engage him for business, you want to do something with him, you want to approach him, and you don't even know where to go to, should that rather make you happy? Should that make you happy? Or better still, if he had picked someone from the uh, medical industry, someone from the medicine industry, someone from this, would that also make you happy? But he picked someone from the industry, knowing the works of this person, knowing the person's track record, knowing the relationship that he shared with the person, and yet, you still see doom into the future, then you have a big problem. If that is the only thing you see, if you only see darkness ahead, then I wonder how you guys are thinking. Then I wonder how you guys are seeing things in this world. Come watch me. Just as I said, it is a call to serve. And it is a call that I have accepted with a badge of honor. It is a call that I have accepted with all the excitement in me. It is a call that I also want to add to what he has been able to achieve over the years for himself. He is human. He is not all positive. He is human. He has flaws. He is human. He has his good days and he has his bad days. Just as I am. Just as I am. I also have my good days and bad days. I also have my flaws. So if in the discharge of our duties, some of our flaws are out, it is no news. Because we are meant to make mistakes. Whoever doesn't make mistakes doesn't grow. Because it is out of your mistakes, that is how you grow. That is why we say adults are more experienced in life than um, young people. Because what they have seen, if you meet someone 60 years today, maybe his mistakes give him the chance again to be 20 years he might not commit those mistakes anymore. So that is how we have to see life. That we all go through it. We make mistakes and we learn. I'm sure after his experience with some of his people previously, he's learned what went wrong. He's learned what they did wrong and what they did right. And he's also learned what he himself also did right and wrong. So what is the big deal here? If he has to start a new life and he needs to build on and move on, what is it? I am positive about this. I don't know how you see it. We've tried behind the scenes for almost a year. And if today we are here, what do you think will happen that we can't talk about it, discuss? As humans, everything is talking. You did this, I did not like. You did this, I did not like. You did this, thank you. You did this, thank you. That's it. That is how the world is. There are good days. You... You, you let the person feel good. Oh, you did this one. I love it. There are bad days. No, this one I did. I did not like it. And that is how we move. If this cannot make you smile, if this cannot make you happy, and you still want to see everything from the negative point of view, then I wish you well. But to me, I'm positive about this. He is also positive about this. Earlier, I think I even saw um, a tweet from him where he was saying that as an industry, anytime people see someone coming close to him, to do something positive with him, then the industry starts saying all, neg all negative things. I saw a tweet from him like that, where he was saying that, yes, as an industry, anytime someone comes close to him, an industry person comes close to him and they want to do some things together, then all of a sudden, hey, gay, 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 like what is happening? 
We've seen enough of it. We've heard them. We've read them. And we thank you. But to those who are upbeat about this, I've seen some beautiful comments as well. Some people think, oh, this is the best collaboration ever. This is the best decision ever by both of us. And I want to say, God bless you. Your prayers, your support would mean a lot to this journey and to SM fans. Thanks so much for your support. I've seen the enthusiasm. I've seen the prayers. I've seen the well wishing and all those things. Really and truly, I appreciate it. And I want to say big ups to you. Until what you are looking for happens, remember we are still on this journey together. May God help us and let's achieve some more. I'll come back and tell you more, but let me end it here on this note. My name is Samiflex. I'm out of here. <laughs>